and uh, shortly we'll get onto a conversation with 67 year old margaret adai auntie maggie uh, as she's popularly known she's contesting for the assemblywoman position in the calypso electoral area Bongataman. so but first we also understand that there's presently a demonstration that's ongoing for the affirmative action i'm sure you're interested in that as well because a vital cog in the machinery of Ghana's decentralization policy is a salient inclusive decision making at the local government level. Central to this is the conduct of the district assembly elections. But woefully, women have not been properly represented on the various fronts of our governance system. And it brings to mind why we have at least 51% of Ghana's population, okay, being women, a whopping figure for that matter and you don't have women uh, being able to stem the tide they are underrepresented and women continue to grapple with structural and societal barriers that serve as uh, you know some patriarchal uh, society that will sideline them this and if you look at the details FM from back in the day 7. you will know that we have even though we have made some improvement it is not enough for example, if you go to Parliament today, the seventh Parliament of the Republic of Ghana, the representation of women there are thirteen percent only. That's not even half of the thirty percent as has been espoused in the Women's Manifesto. So the women are out there with the men who support them, including my good self, and uh, they are demonstrating to press home their demands and call for their rights. Noam Falon is one of such women who works with here at Media General. But she is very passionate about giving the women a chance because uh, they deserve same. No one. Good morning. Hello, no one. Hello. Yes. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Very well. Why are you on the streets this morning? Uh, it's a simple uh, issue. We are asking the Ministry of Gender. We are asking Parliament. We are asking the Presidency to accelerate the laying of the bill in Parliament and a CD passage. Okay. We want that before the end of 2019. We want the affirmative action bill laid before Parliament and passed before the end of 2019. How long has it been on the table uh, in Parliament? We know that, yes, uh, a bill goes there, Parliament rises, it loses its chance to be passed. It has to start the process all over again. How long has it gone through this uh, up and down? Well, the affirmative action bill has been in the works for over 13 years. Now, uh, in 2016, it was taken to Parliament, but it was taken at a time where most of the MPs were out campaigning, and so nobody paid attention to it. Uh, the last State of the Nations address, the President promised that the Affirmative Action Bill was dear to his heart and would be passed within a year. So we, we believed um, there was going to be attention given to it. But uh, after over a year, we realized it, it's not going to happen until we put more pressure, and this is why we are on the streets today. The, the numbers you see around you, is that is it anything to convince you that there's the reawakening and which government must act on? Yes, indeed. Um, if you have been following recent developments, uh, you know that the president is, uh, has been awarded a, a gender champion, a, the AU gender champion. Um, he's also the co-chair of the Sustainable Development Goals, and we all know that Goal 5 of the Sustainable Development Goals talks about gender equality. And so we're asking the president indirectly to justify his inclusion on all these tables because gender equality is part of his mandate. The, the law, I mean, I know that you will go from the Nkrumah Circle or the Obra Sport, come through Rolling Spa, go to the gender ministry. What demands are you pressing in that petition you are presenting to them and also to the presidency? 40%, 40 representation in parliament. Well, the, the, the president said 30% of, of his governance will be made up of women. Is that what you see? I'm sorry? The president said 30% of his government will be made up of women. Is that what you see? No, no. Um, he has made promises, just like other uh, parties have made promises. They have come and gone. Uh, in every political party that has come in their manifestos, they have made it very clear that the affirmative action bill is on uh, their priority list. But... Um, like the MPP, like the NDC, nobody has tackled it so far. If government doesn't heed to this uh, demands you are pressing for, what's the next line of action? We will accelerate. And as you know, uh, Beijing Plus 25 is coming next year. We will take our petitions there. Uh, we will make the, 
you know, development partners understand that Ghana has fallen behind in the passage of the Affirmative Action Bill. There are so many countries that started way after Ghana. Ghana started in 1960 uh, when President Kwame Nkrumah ensured that at least 10 women represented in Parliament out of 114 seats. We actually started this before the United States. But every country has overtaken Ghana. And most development okay. partners have pulled out of Ghana because they are mm. putting efforts, they are putting funding, and so far no results okay. have come out of Ghana. I see. The, the final question to you will be, you, you are a prominent media personality, but who else is with you on this walk? Any prominent faces we should know about? Um, well, I wouldn't say prominent faces, but we have the Alliance for Women in Media. We have a few of them here. Uh, we also have Star Ghana supporting us. We have the market women out here supporting us. It's um, a coalition made up of over 62 CSOs, okay. and they're mm. all on board. Thank you, Noam Falong, and uh, get home safe. That's uh, Noam Falong. She's a woman on the beat, and she's also a strong advocate for uh, affirmative action. But let's talk to Auntie Maggie. Auntie Maggie is 67 years old. She wants to be an assembly woman. Auntie Maggie, good morning to you, and thank you for your time. Hello. Okay. Auntie Maggie, good morning. Good morning. And how, how are you people? We are very, very fine. We understand you are stuck in traffic. Sorry. Yeah, yes, please. How are you this morning? Oh, my is great. I'm fine. I'm doing well. Okay. Auntie Maggie, why do you want to be an assembly woman at 67 years? Oh, I wanted to be an assembly woman because there are a lot of things. I've been there for a long time, okay. and we are still lacking some things around our area. And all the uh, uh, assembly members going, we couldn't tackle those items. Okay. But I wanted to be there and force and penetrate so that we can do those things. Most mm -hmm. especially, there is a road around our boat. There is a tank around our area called boat. Okay. And there is no access road around it. We keep on talking about it, but there's nothing done about it. Okay. I wanted to be there and force that road to be accessible mm. so that in case of emergency, okay. fire tender can go around it. Mm. So that uh, we shouldn't stay until something happened before they do that road for us. Right. And there are a lot of things. Mm. I am uh, uh, this and there, uh, brilliant children. There are a lot of them walking around learning trades. Mm -hmm. They can go to school, but because of uh, this uh, financial assistance, okay. they couldn't. And I want to be there for them. If anything, and the assembly, I know there is a time give scholarship to those brilliant children. Right. So that I can assist some of them mm -hmm. to continue their education. I see. And at the same time, there are some things around the area. Mm -hmm. It is on my heart to tackle that one. And the physical challenge children. Mm. I am a mother of one, and I train mine. Now she's even learning trade at the physical challenge school that is in a nation. Okay, okay. I wanted to assist those that are walking around in the, uh, our area without going to school. If I am there, I know that uh, they always give the provisions for such people mm -hmm. that I can uh, at least pick some of them to go and learn a trade. And go to school as well. I send some. I, I help some people to go to the dump, uh, school as I, I perform. Okay. Okay. So I have a lot of things on my heart to do if I I've been uh, elected as an assembly candidate for my for my constituency. Mm. Auntie Maggie, someone will say at 67 you are supposed to be with your grandchildren. I'm sure some some of your competitors have said that to you. What, yes. what do you say when they tell you that you are too old? Go and sleep. I, oh, I'm not too old. I have grandchildren. Okay. And I keep on going up and down. Even though, if I have grandchildren and I can assist people around our community, why don't I go and have the access to uh, help them rather? Okay. I'm helping people on, on my own mm. without being in the assembly yet. Then why not give myself to be there and assist the people with a little bit of the assembly assistance. Mm, mm, mm. Interesting. I, but I can move up and down. Okay. I go up and down, do everything myself. 
as I am here now, I don't have a house help in my house. I do everything myself. I see. Yes. Wow. So, Auntie Maggie, who and who is contesting you at the Calypso Electoral Area in Pong Katamanso? Pardon? Who and who are contesting you in the Pong Katamanso area, the Calypso Electoral Area? Uh, right now, uh, I have, uh, there's one man called Fred. Okay. But, uh, well, all the same, I'm planning to meet him so that we uh, talk. Mm. and discuss about the area okay well, we are all one i right. want unity in the area all of us should get on board right and develop the area mm. it is not one person to, uh, uh, listen it is not any partisan we don't want any party to be i'm here so i have to know all of us right. have to get on board and uh, develop the area mm. to be nice the the participation of women in district assembly elections is not yeah. new but a lot of women have not been given the chance to to win or to be in charge yeah. why why what do you think is a problem uh, okay maybe it is maybe they've not interacted with the people very well okay for me i am always with everybody okay i want to know the problem of everybody if i am i have the means i help if I don't have, I advise them. So I am always on the floor, on the ground moving. People come to me okay. for advice, mm. anything, either funeral or any activities. Mm. I am among them. Okay. That is why I think they, they elected me. But but are the men doing what they have to do? Yes. Have the men the helped men. you in terms oh, of your, your electoral area, the Calypso area? Have they been helpful? You've been electing men. Over and oh, over yeah. again. Mm. Well, hmm. this is they've been doing their best. But at times, people are complaining wherever I go. If we call you, if we give you the note and you go, when we call you, we call you people, you don't answer. But for you, we know you are always with us. You always, so we know we can get access to you. But some of them, when they go, if there's anything happening around the area, when they call them, they don't hear of them, they mm. don't come. Are you also going to do that? They do ask me that question. And I say, already I am always with you. Okay. But why don't you, uh, if now that you would like me to be there, why then do you call me? I will not respond. I will come. Whether good or bad, I will be with them. What kind of support do you get from your family, your husband, your children, your extended family? Are, are they in support of this decision to contest for the Assemblywoman position? Uh, my children. Uh, for me... My, there is a cousin of mine who actually helped me to do one or two things. But my children, one of them said, Auntie, don't go in because, because there's a lot of insults. I said, nobody will insult me. Wow. I've been going up and down for a long time. They've never insulted me. But uh, I will go. Then the lady, my uh, daughter said, well, it will keep you moving on and give you, uh, it will be as if you are uh, exercising yourself. So if, mm. if, if you feel you are fit to go, you can go. Okay. Well, anything you let us know as this is. But has so, somebody insulted you yet? No, nobody insulted me yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's talk about yeah. let's talk about funding uh, in terms of money. I mean, you said earlier that you you have been supporting people. People invite you for funerals, <laughs> weddings, and parties, and all of that. You have to make a donation. Do you have yeah. the financial muscle to satisfy all these people who make demands on you? Uh, yes, I have some people within our area that I do contact if there is a need that I cannot face it. Okay. They assist me. And right now, my daughter is asking me that I should form a, an NGO so that they will uh, lobby for me to find some people over there. Okay. They are always they are outside. Okay. That okay. they can assist me because of the... Uh, uh, physical challenge people that I said I wanted to help mm. so that they will see what they can do about it to support me with that too. Okay. You, you have told me a couple of things you want to do, but let's, let's assume that you've been elected into position as Assemblywoman for Calypso Electoral Area. What would yes. be the first thing you will do? The first thing, hmm, the road is very important to me. Okay. Uh, around the uh, both 
uh, uh, station. The uh, bulk oil, this in transport, uh, this, that place is okay. very dangerous. Because if any of the tanks burst now, right. the whole area will be condemned. Okay. So that road is very important for us. So that there will be an access road around the station. Hmm. Where the tankers are loading, there should be an access road for fire tender to be going around all the time. Okay. So that in case of anything, they can stop it immediately. Mm. And after that, maybe there is a, a big gutter around our area. Okay. When it's flooded, it at times it takes life. Right. I want to see to that too. Mm. That are my two major things. But, but, but that, that would depend on whether the assembly agrees with you or otherwise. That is what I mean. I, I, I have to let them know. I want to make sure that they should understand okay. the uh, importance of it, how important it is. Why should we leave the, uh, it rains and take life? So maybe two, three people die, hmm. and the better we just go and uh, dredge it without doing the uh, region. Then tomorrow, next one, we tell, we just tell them we are sorry. Have our condolences. It is not uh, good. We have to see to it. They should, it should be their uh, possibility. And if priority, and if they have, and I'm also fighting. Okay. If I, get, I can get some people to assist mm. so that we do that thing. So if they can't get all in, by the grace of God, I find some people to assist me. Okay. I'll put mine on board, and they should bring there so that we do it. Hmm. Let's talk about your challenges, Auntie Maggie. Uh, yes. In, in wanting to aspire, what have, have been some of the challenges you have faced? Uh, the challenges, uh, that is what some people are The only thing that some people are talking about my age. Okay. Auntie Maggie, you, uh, this work is uh, difficult, so can you do it? Can you, uh, anywhere, that's what they ask, I say, I can, if I can't do it, I won't come for it. Okay. I can do it, that is why I come in for it. Mm. What does your support base look like in your electoral area? Pardon? Your support base, what does it look like in your area? It is great. It is great. There are most of them. And if I'm Auntie Maggie, go. We will vote for you. And if i you go. They all call me around Auntie Maggie, Auntie Maggie. Mm -hmm. And most of them say, Auntie Maggie, go, you are doing well. We will support you. We will vote for you. It, it, that's not new to... It's, it's long overdue. I should have been there for a long time, but at first, I, I was thinking about my business and all that. Now okay. that I'm go, I've dropped some of that, because cooking is not an easy thing. Right. So right now, I've stopped the cases and I'm not doing it myself again. Okay. And so I have a, a lot of time to go around. Hmm. Auntie Maggie, go. Auntie Maggie will support you. A lot of politicians have heard these things said to them. And yes. Sir John says, fear delegates. Fear because delegates. they will yes. promise you and, and not, uh, not vote for you. Uh, what do you say to that? I, well, by the grace of God, it is God who touch people's heart to do whatever they are, they are supposed to do. Okay. If your heart is touched by God to do this, right? Whatever the case may be, you have to do it. Mm -hmm. So I believe in God. I know with God, all things are possible. Okay, Auntie Maggie. Then there's another question of people saying that well, the young men or most of the young men and women who have gone into politics. Yeah. Uh, have failed their contemporaries because they go there with the aim of looking for money. Mm. But some of you have advanced in age, you have your businesses, you are supporting people, and some say people like you should be the ones in parliament. What do you say to that as well? Oh, uh, for a matter of fact, uh, me, some of uh, we don't think we will go there for our money, but some people maybe, for me, I'm old right now, what do I want? I have my house. I have my children. They've all finished their school. It is only the fiscal challenge one that is really straight now. And even though when I'm, I was not in this position, I have a lot. Those who are not my children, I, I train some people. Some of them are in the Navy. Some of them are nurses. Some of them that I think they are at the uh, university mm -hmm. are not my children. Okay. So... At the same time, I'm not going in to go and acquire 
work for myself. Okay. I wanted to support the environment, the people mm -hmm. around my area. Okay. How long do you want to be an assembly woman? Oh, for four years. If I finish the first term, I'll step down. I'll, by then, I will groom somebody who can step in my shoes. Okay. So you, you groom somebody. Have you identified people who could possibly take over from you already? Well, I, I have to look. I know I know some people that when they go there, they won't go for themselves alone. Okay. They will go for everybody. Okay. Yes. They will look at everybody's problem. If the means is there, they will do it. And by then, I may also advise them what, what to do. Okay. Yes. Yesterday, you were at uh, the Media General Forum that uh, is encouraging a lot of women to get into the governance system and politics. Yes. The, the question is about why women stay away from politics. What is it that you have found interacting with your fe fellow women? Um, you know, at first, how our African politics is, the insults okay. and other things are too much. So people fear, I am afraid of the insults and other things. Mm. But if you have a good mind, Okay. And you know you want to go in to help your community. No matter how much they insult you, mm. and if you are giving the nod, you will help them. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Wow. Auntie Maggie, the people of Kong Katamazo are listening to you. What will be your uh, closing thoughts to them? What do you say to them finally before we, we let you go? Sorry? The people of your constituency and your electoral yes. area are yes. listening to you. Yes. What yes. do you want to say to them as your parting words before we let you go? Okay. My word is, I am pleading with them to vote me to become the assembled person at our constituency for all of us to team up and uh, develop Bonkata Mansu constituency to become a place of interest for everybody. They should please help me. And I will not I will not fail them. I will prove to them that although I am old, I have a vision. Okay. And so they should vote for you. They should vote for me. Massively. Wow. Auntie Maggie, thank you very, yes. very much. We're still expecting you here anyway. Uh, so, so we can record you for, for TV. Oh, okay. But I'm most grateful for your time. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. And that's thank, uh, you. thank you. That's Margaret, uh, Auntie Margaret Adai. She's 67 years old. She wants to be the assemblywoman for the Calypso electoral area in the Pong Katamanso uh, constituency. You think you are too old, too gentle, too smart to participate? <laughs> I'm sure you've listened to Auntie Maggie's story. We'll take a break. When we return, I'm sure we can quickly pick your phone calls and hear your thoughts about what's happening. Two issues. One, the demarcations that are being done. Uh, in fact, three issues. The affirmative action uh, demonstration that's ongoing presently. And Auntie Maggie's story. She's not perturbed. Age is not a blockade. And she says she's not in for the money. She has plans and people should give her a chance. What do you think should give her a chance? What do you think should give her a chance?